Right behind me is the world's biggest inflatable paddleboard. It stands at a towering 16 feet tall. I'm 5'9 and it just, just reminds me that I'm not six foot tall. The best part is that it could support 960 pounds, which means I could bring a lot of friends and fit plenty of fishing gear. So join me as I attempt the unimaginable by fishing off this behemoth of a paddleboard at this loaded private pond. But first, let's do some off-roading with the minivan. Woohoo! The classic soccer mom van is in uncharted territory. It may not be what this vehicle was built for, but it still works. This would be a bad place to get a flat tire. Oh, this thing is heavy. I would guess it's probably a good 60 pounds. <sighs> now, don't be fooled. It may seem tiny and like a normal paddleboard, but when I undo this strap and I get this massive burrito, out of this wrapping. Ugh. I lay it flat, unravel it, but wait, it keeps going. I take this and I unfold it. <laughs> is this not insane? For reference, a normal paddle board is probably from here all the way to here. This is easily three times the size of that. Some of you guys left a comment in my last video saying, hey Ryan, what if I'm super tall? How would I fit on a paddleboard? So today, I brought in my friend Aaron, Hi guys. who stands at a very impressive six foot two. I'm six two. Are you six two? Yeah. Okay, cool. And for my guys on the shorter side, I brought in my friend Michael, who stands at a stature of like five six. Five six. <laughs> this is the pump that goes with a regular inflatable paddleboard, and this is what comes with this behemoth. On a normal power board, we have a time record of 10 minutes. Does 20 minutes sound reasonable, guys? Yeah. Timer starts now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good news. I was feeling a little discouraged when I first saw the size of this board. I was like, this is gonna take an eternity to pump up. But so far, we're doing pretty good. You know, honestly, cancel all my gym memberships. All I need is this. It's a nice full body workout. Okay, I'm tapping out. One of you guys are coming to do this. Aaron, you wanna tell the people what happened last time when we went fishing? Yeah, um, I caught a bass that's bigger than your record. He's not lying. I took him catfishing and this man somehow managed to catch a six pound bass on cut bait. Cut bait out of all things. Board's coming up pretty nicely. Michael, you wanna tap in now? Sure. We're sitting at three minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> oh, wait, wait put both of your feet on here. <laughs> we got to get this to 15 PSI. So far we're sitting at a solid five. We got five minutes on the clock. We're making really good headway right now. <sighs> I thought we were going to be lucky today with a high of 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels like it's almost 90 with how much physical exercise we're getting. I know, physical exercise, something us fishermen aren't really familiar with. Keep going, keep going. Pump, pump, pump. Shout out to Freean for sending us this board and allowing us to get in one heck of a workout. Michael had probably the first big brain move we've ever seen on my channel, where he's like, hey, we got two pumps. Why not just plug both in? <laughs> almost done, almost done. Let's give it 20 more. One. Actually, no, let's do 10 more, I'm too tired. 15, 24 seconds. Boom. Yo, honestly guys, we're too tired. We're gonna take a nap. We'll film part two next week. Until then, we'll see you later. With this big of a board, we need two paddles. We went ahead and attached the fins. Ow, ooh, it's hot. Yo, please drop a like. We're playing hot potato with these paddles right now. One thing I love about these inflatables is they are a lot lighter than they look. Aaron and I, we are not gym rats, and yet we can lift this thing almost like it's nothing. Now we're really testing out the durability of this thing. Woo! The board is safely in the water. I will be the first to step on. Okay, not bad, not bad. Woo wee! This is so nice. Okay, let's start pushing off, and then Michael, you can just jump in whenever you feel comfortable. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, everyone assume your position. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Right, me, so the trick is don't make any sudden movements. Look, I'm moving around here and nothing's really changing. So I'm quite confident in how stable this thing is. Yo, this thing is legit. What? Reminds me of Moana. 
see the wind, see the sail, something, something. It goes behind me. I don't know the lyrics. This is possibly the best fishing lure for this pond. It's very simple. All you do is you take it, you cast it out just like that, let it sink a little bit, and then you just start reeling back in and get ready. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, I got bit. There he is. Oh, oh look, look, look. It's a, oh, it's, it's a bluegill. Oh, that's a chunk. Oh, yes. That's the first fish caught on this mega paddle board. Oh, dude. I said like a two pounder fall. Really? Yeah. Two pounder. Did you see it? No. What should we name our boat? We already have the yin tin. The yin fin. The yin fin. I like it. It's got three fins. Fish. Oh. Did you see the line move? Nope. Uh, <laughs> right, how many think you were going to catch today? I'm aiming for 40 total. 40? That, that could be really easy to do. For those of you guys who are actually taking the time to watch my video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of some new baits that are going to be coming out on the market. So a while back, Bait Fuel, which is a new fish attractant, came out. And now they're starting to make baits that have bait fuel already in it. I think this is going to get a bit first cast. It's really wacky looking. It's got a little chatterbait head. But tell me, in a pond like this, there are definitely leeches around. <laughs> so I'm just going to drag it slowly on the bottom, see if anything wants to eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he had it for a second. Now, that was a bass, too. Oh, it's crazy, dude. Look, I'm jumping right now, and none of you guys are falling in the water yet. <laughs> At the current moment, the fish don't seem to be really wanting to bite, so we're just gonna paddle around in this, because not every single time are you gonna be able to fish a tiny pond like this. What if I wanna take it out on a big lake, huh? How is it gonna handle the chops? We're gonna challenge ourselves to see how long it takes us to paddle this massive paddle board all the way to the other end of the lake. Three, two, one. All right, long strokes, that's the trick. I'm glad two paddles came with this thing, because imagine if we were trying to paddle this thing with just one. How are we looking on time? One minute, five seconds. One minute, five seconds. Okay, let's try and get it under two minutes. Yo, imagine trying to like paddle across the Atlantic with this thing. It's quite impossible, but. For tracking water, a solid nine out of 10. Thankfully, we don't have alligators here in Virginia. Oh, yeah? There, there it is. Ooh, ooh, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, boat flip. Whoa, yes. Over a pound easy. <laughs> Michael, you know what you should do? You should tie on a bait with the biggest, meanest treble hooks and hopefully sink us. Oh, yeah, there he is. That might match the one you caught. No, it's a little smaller. Woo. All righty. Caught him on the stumpy crush. Catch you later. Hey. We should come up with a chant to help us get on rhythm. Okay, ready? So on the stroke, it's blue, and then on the lift, it's gill. Okay, ready? Blue, gill. Blue, gill. Blue, gill. You got one? Is that a good one? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, dude, that's a good one. That's a good one. Keep him down. Keep him down. Good, Aaron. Good, Aaron. <laughs> Let's go. All right, hold him up. That's what's up. He got the 3.75 inch crush wound. They seem to like natural colors, so I'm gonna throw on a green pumpkin. There we go. There it is. Ooh, good, 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 good. You got it? Yeah, hold on. That's over too. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Michael. It's the biggest one of the day. Casting. There he is. Ooh. Okay, that's a mess. That's a nice one. That's a bias. But they're liking the green pumpkin for sure. This is about like six pounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that right there is what we want. Whoa. Casting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right up, right up, right up. <laughs> what in the world? I did not know there was a catfish in here. Yeah. Whoa, all right, all right. Don't reel anymore. Don't reel anymore. Right, dude. <laughs> oh. dude, Aaron, Good let's job, go. Dude. Rate of one to ten. How fun was it? Uh, ten. Ten, oi! <laughs> the bite is finally turning on. Aaron caught that monster of a catfish, and he fought it so brilliantly. Honestly, Aaron, do you want my channel? You, you want to just take over my fishing channel? Because <laughs> no. I've yet to catch a bass that is over one pound. Honestly, if I fail to do that, this video is going to turn into a 24-hour survival challenge on this boat. 
I'm just gonna catch these bluegill and bass and then sashimi them and survive off of that for the next few hours. Cast down. Yeah, there he is. Oh no. Got him? Oh, no. There he is. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we came off. No. You did? Yeah. Oh. No, he was on there that for a while. Good. Darn it. It's okay. Hey, everyone, let's play a game of how long we can stand one legged. I'm oh. kidding. Don't do it. <laughs> it's a very bad idea. I'm like the king of coming up with horrible ideas to do. <laughs> let's all try something. Let's all just lay down. Alrighty. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> oh, careful. Oh. See, you guys, I told you. King of bad ideas. Well, we have unanimously agreed that the yin fin has landed well over 15 fish today. If you watch all the way to the end of this video and you're thinking to yourself, hey, I kind of want to get one of these giant paddle boards for myself and maybe my friends. Good news for you is that I actually have a promo code you can use. Just help you get some money off. This thing is sweet. Please let me know how else you want to see it in the channel. Should I add an outboard on it? Should I add a trolling motor? What should I do with it? You guys want some salad? <laughs>